Hello, everybody, and welcome, or welcome back to Brotato, the arena survival action roguelike itself. We're going to be checking out the most exciting character, the most anticipated character. You've all been waiting for it. It's the well-rounded. we got to get a victory on Danger Level 5 with this character. We haven't tried yet, but uh, we're looping back through. However, here's the thing. I want to showcase a weapon. Well-rounded is a very good character for doing that since... They are not inherently that exciting on their own. They give you a couple stats that you, you know, you always want, but you never, I mean, I never really feel like I want to buy. So it's cool because we can just really let the weapon shine. The weapon I want to have shine is going to be the hatchet. It is a newly unlocked weapon we got for beating a run as the wildling. It is a primitive weapon. So I'm going to try and force it either by... I don't know, either by having stick and rolling or just, like, selling the stick and rolling because you're very likely to find weapons that you have, like, really likely nowadays. So it might honestly just be better to sell it and, and just chance it, but we'll see. New enemies appear, inflation's higher, enemies are stronger, enemies drop less materials, and two bosses appear at once. Danger level five, you know the drill there. Uh, you know, we've been doing Brotato daily, you know, for, what, 20... 20, 30, however many freaking episodes now. 30-something. It's all been a blur. I played so much Brotato this week, prepping for my vacation. Uh, yeah, yeah. I wanted to get the tree, but hey. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. Ooh, I think starting with harvesting is nice. I think we sell the stick, right? Oh, okay, that was pure luck. There was no reason why we should have necessarily found that there. Uh, so hatchet. I kind of think lifesteal could be good. We'll see, though. Five damage, scaling one to one, despite being the lowest cooldown melee weapon, uh, which is very exciting. I don't know if it's how it scales. I feel like I don't know if a sweeping weapon is different on cooldown. Like, I'm not sure how that's going to look. We'll try and find that out today. But it has a very bad range, like really bad. Uh... That makes lifesteal kind of interesting. Dangerous. So let's get our second hatchet. I'm, You know, I'm fine with that. Uh, we could get a propeller hat, I suppose. But a one-to-one -one scaling weapon that is, you know, theoretically the lowest cooldown fastest weapon in the game or fastest melee weapon in the game is very exciting. Very, very, very exciting. Look at it go. It is... It's pretty quick. It's it's pretty darn quick, though I really don't... Ah, you son of a gun. I don't know how much the attack speed up is going to help it. Out of this, I go luck. Out of this, I guess I could go three HP regen. It's just not usually a stat I care about. Look for attack speed. Hatchet. It's shop three. We get uh, guaranteed double weapons. We're just going to be rolling to get as many chances at that as possible. Cyberball. I don't think I'm going to really be going luck. I mean, yeah, my goal today is to become a Beyblade. That is the plan, that is the goal. Without sweeping weapons in the past, that kind of dream was not really doable, and it's still not like quite, I wouldn't say we're quite spinning like a Beyblade, but I want to become a little like walking, talking lawnmower potato. Like that would be the dream. But it starts out with, yeah, pretty low damage. But a sweeping motion. I mean, we go armor. But a sweeping motion. Sure. Uh, coupon. Hmm. Yes, yes. Man, I love, you know, well rounded. Starting with 5 HP, 5 speed, 8 harvesting. Like I say, those are stats that you always want, but. I personally never feel like I want to go for them. Like, I never want to spend a turn going for them. So that is really... It's just quite nice. Oh, boy. Oh, that, that range is wretched. It is wretched. Uh, but, yeah, the fact that we have one-to-one -one scaling on a very fast attack means that flat melee damage will go a very long way for us. Oh, my God. This... This range, though, I never love picking range on a melee weapon. There's a real possibility where we actually kind of have to on Hatchet. Look at that. It is 
It is uh, exceptionally low. More attack speed. I just want to kind of see how it goes. Short, short, short. It's 25% attack speed already. So, I would assume the cooldown starts after the chop, right? I don't know how range downs and chopping motion melee weapons work. Oh, what, what is that? Was, it feels like I'm attacking quite a bit faster. It should, it, it seems like it should be working. Oh my word, look at that. I mean, it's gnarly. Uh, like a little bit of flat damage would go a long way. Yeah, that is that is a good example of what I want to be doing today. I just want to get in there and see ab yep, see hell happen. Another coupon this early is pretty good. Cute monkeys may be fine. I, I, I just, I want to find. Okay. That's both un lucky and unlucky in a way. I know, yes, gift horse in the mouth. Yeah, mouse. I did it again. Uh, gift horse in the mouse. Uh... Uh, but I kind of just uh, maybe I call me crazy. I kind of just like finding common weapons earlier. They're just cheaper, and they combine to give you the rare weapon anyways. I know it. I know it's not the same thing. It's it's like getting two at the same time. I know it's better. Like I, there's just something about uh, I like having a clean shop. You know. Dear God, do I need melee damage though? This is this is wild. I need it desperately. On top of the fact that I need survivability if I'm going to have to stand this close to the enemies to do something. Or, or you could just give me every little freaking ounce of that under the sun. I, can't, I mean, I can't be bad at this. Okay, that does 20 damage. 10, 5 to 10 to 20. Huge. Again, I would love some, like, flat damage, but I... I, I take it all back. It's, it's amazing. I just don't like locking stuff and keeping it there. It's not to say it's not something I do, don't do. I, like, I do it for sure. I just... I don't like it. It feels weird. It feels suboptimal to just have a shop that just is constantly locked on the same stuff. It feels wrong. Oh, boy. This is... This is starting to do something. This is starting to do something indeed. Those upgrades help. They're kind of like getting a bunch of flat melee damage. Uh, due to the fact that they literally just... it They doubled in damage each time. Like, that is, a, that is a really good way to improve our damage. But just getting some flat melee damage. You know what? I'll just take every attack. There we... This is huge. These are going to go from 5 damage to 11 damage. That's just how it works here. Good. Free reroll. Fine. Over the course of the run, it will be worth it. I think that we do take a 3% damage down. I think that's okay. 13 damage, 18 damage, 27 damage. We just, we just, wow, rocketed. Absolutely rocketed up in damage. Get back here. Do we take a range up on this run? It's, it's always weird because it's half effective on melee. Is half effective on melee, and the range down, you know, can technically give you slightly faster attack speed, kind of. I don't know if the same is true for sweeping motion melee weapons. That is frightening. Yeah, I, I kind of had to. Jeez. Like, if I want kills, I kind of have to get hit almost. It's so rough. You gotta play like a, a wild boy just to get any sort of resources. Oh, man. Speed, a little bit of lockdown. I mean, sure. Metal plate could help. Snail could help, but I don't really want it. Uh, oh, I don't want, I don't want negative eight luck. Bowler hat. <laughs> uh, okay. This is just a, I think it's just a disappointment of a, of a, of a shop. Of a, of a, of a, of a, of a. This should be a really easy wave for us, one would think. Oh, 
But, I mean, hey. Melee proficiency or whatever the heck is going to be really, really nice. Oh, boy. Alright, alright, alright. Just avoid the big boys. We're really good at killing anything else, and we honestly could probably kill the big boys decently if we went in for it, but it's so risky. Like, they are the reason we would want range. I just... Ow. Lifesteal would potentially go a long way for us. I can't. I can't get it. I can't get all that money. We got 426. I can't be mad. Okay. Handcuffs. This early. Imagine. I want lifesteal. Thank you. Okay. That should have been a pretty big upgrade. That should have been a pretty big upgrade. We got a little bit of armor. We got plus 12 damage. We're doing 24 damage. 29. Uh, 29 with the uh, with the blue. 24 otherwise. Okay, that's the thing. We get we get close to them for a sec when they're uh, when they're vulnerable. Walk the dog, so to speak. Ah. Wretched range. We got to get them right after the dash, or run alongside them while they dash. Is genuinely what we would have to do to get them killed. Like, our damage is good, but, like, I'm struggling to, uh, make any kind of real logical headway. It may just be the range. It may be the, uh, the range that is doing it to us. And, like, should I buy range even though it's half effective and only sort of good? That's obviously bad. That's obviously bad. Fine. Why has it got to be so much luck down? I'll take it, though, but hopefully I can get some more luck. Attack speed, crit chance, range. That's a pretty good pickup for that. Wandering bot? Maybe. Sure. All right. We actually should destroy these guys. Yeah, we do. We're not, like, one-shotting them, but we are a million-shotting them pretty fast. Oh, my word. They, like, we're not really too worried about them making it to us, at the very least. Okay. Very spicy run. Very spicy. We gotta get within an inch of danger at all times to do anything. This is reminding me the most of um, the claw weapon that I modded in for the demo back when. If you haven't seen that, you should check it out. I made, I modded, I made a couple characters. I made the feline. It was a character that basically got attack speed based off of, uh, ooh, or dodge based off of movement speed, and they like function very well based off of uh, uh, attack speed through claw weapon, which was basically what we got going on here. Fine. Fine. Let's just do that. We got a free roll. I'll take another coupon. A third coupon? Don't mind if I do. 35. I mean, we're doing really good damage. That's the thing. We're doing really, really, really good damage. Things are getting obliterated. But also... Ow. I can't help but feel weak somehow still. Like, there's there's a really big defensive component missing today that is necessary if we're going to be this close to the enemies. It is unfortunately... Oh, my God. Unfortunately, very necessary if we're going to be up in their face. Like, dodge, life steal would be a really fun way to do it. Very kind of, like, brawler-focused but, like, with crazy Beyblade Axe play. Yeah, this is... We're getting better. We're getting way better. 
All right. We're, we're popping off. We're starting to pop off a bit. We are starting to pop off a bit. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. That, that helps, too. I'll get that. Do I remove my knockback? How much life steal? We have 13% life steal now. Okay, that that's pretty good too. What how much range? 65 all of a sudden. I think it's probably gonna be worth it, even if we take a bit of a penalty to our attack speed. I think it's gonna be really worth it. I think it'll mean we can walk through areas a lot safer. I don't think we want to go too much higher than that, though. Because then we're going to start facing, like, a pretty gnarly penalty to our kind of attack speed. But if you hit more enemies with your melee attack, that's going to be really, really good, too. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're life-stealing a bit. We're life-stealing a bit. It's no joke. It's no joke. And we're kind of clumping them up. The wandering bot is doing a lot of work. I'm so glad that it's actually like pretty darn good now. It's still this is still a very dangerous run. Very, very dangerous run. Uh hit me with nine dodge, actually. What's my speed? Okay, we can do that. Absolutely more leech as much leech as possible we're gonna be in the uh potentially oh we hate these guys okay so tunnel them down right now kill them because we don't want to deal with them later we can't deal with them later okay we want as many gone early as we can Like, if they escape, we have a problem. If we can keep them in place, we'll probably... Oh, they teleported. If we can kill them pretty shortly after, like... Oh my god, if we can kill all the babies shortly after we spawn them, we're fine. I think we've turned this into a, a pretty spicy run. All of a sudden, this has gotten... Pretty darn good. I, you take that. You don't see that and just say, nah, I don't want it. Uh, shitty potions tempting. Sixty-four damage. Uh, pickup range is kind of interesting because, like, I'm, I. <sighs> I want to get health and stuff like that, but, like, because of our weird, dangerous, close-range situation, I'm not able to get as close as I want all the time here. Okay, just kill all the hosts early. Uh-oh. This is not going to be as good. Uh-oh. Just keep an eye on him. Thankfully, the slow movement speed seems to be working really, really well. I'm seeing the wandering bot absolutely wreck their movement speed. It's really nice. Snail and Wandering Bot together are just beautiful. In a way that I, you know, didn't quite fully realize or potentially appreciate until now. Everything is just dying so darn fast. The attack speed, the damage, we can just run through things. We get enough dodge, we can kind of just do this... Okay, well, there you go. That's that's what happens when you really don't care, so you do start taking damage. Nah. I'm gonna go for the dodge. I do want some pickup range. Banner is tempting. <sighs> 10 harvesting increased by an initial 10%. Okay, hear me out. That's worth it. 22. Like, I know we don't have a lot, but that is really worth it. I maybe should have locked the uh, wheelbarrow, but like harvesting is harvesting is a good stat. It's a good stat now, and that makes that a really good stat. I feel like we hadn't we didn't see that item for like I don't know like a full 15, 20 episodes. We saw it recently. 
I don't think it was an unlock, was it? It wasn't an unlock. What did you get for the... No, yeah, you got... Uh, you get wheat. Wheat for winning with the farmer. I don't know what that item's... It, it must have been unlocked by default then, if it's not a farmer item. And it was not. Oh boy. Oh boy. Chop a 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 Beyblade from hell. Beyblade from hell. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Of course. Ugly Tooth is not that... Do we have a Lumberjack shirt? No, but this is still worth it. Hunting trophy. What's my crit chance? 11? 14? Oh, it's wave 17. When did that happen? Oh, that does no, that doesn't matter at all. That doesn't matter at all. Dodge is at 13%. My armor is at 9. We're not tanky. We're not tanky. We're just killing things before it matters. Which is usually more fun anyways, but like... Uh-oh. How'd that guy tank so many hits? Get the babies, get the babies, get the babies, get the babies, get the buffers. I think the final boss situation is going to be very much just like a try and kill all the ads kind of vibe. Loving the lifesteal. But... It's not enough crazy lifesteal to be good on the boss fight. Melee lifesteal builds need to be amazing for it to be a consistent source of uh, regen on the boss fight. Yes, we can take that. Uh, I want, I want dodge. 17% chance lifesteal. Okay, these die pretty quick. This is frightening. This is frightening. Get the buffer, boys. This is awkward. It's so hard to tell when the red outline ones are about to do their dash, because guess what? They're already red. It is thus very tricky to tell. Okay, we can risk it a bit. Get the babies, get the babies. Get the babies. Get the babies, get the babies. Avoid killing it for a moment. Okay. Get in. All right. This is going to become a nightmare. Going to become a nightmare. Okay. Maybe that lifesteal is, is going to be good enough for us to, uh, to rely on a little bit more. At the very least in this situation. Oh, there's so many trees over to the left. That hurts. Uh, whoop. 12% dodge, that's big. I already gave them that. Wait, okay. I think this is fine for the boss. Another 15 HP goes a long way, and I don't think that the actual bosses get these speed. Maybe they do. It just neutralizes it with snail, right? Like, you know, it's not that big of a deal. I can't really tell what's happening around me. Just mostly watch the big boys. Everything else seems to generally be dying before I walk into it. This is chaos, but we're actually like totally fine. Maybe we will be okay on the boss for just like, for going for a uh, ad killing boss dodging angle. I don't really trust... Yeah, seeing how much damage we take and how... No. No, I refuse. I refuse. Uh, no Olenki. Sure. Hey. We got something. Ah, oh, double hatchet right there. I don't know, man. Uh... Our damage is good, but like... It's not that great. Like, I didn't really get, like, like any percentage damage ups. 
like seeing this I i'm thinking back and i'm going i don't think i saw a single cyclops worm i don't think i, I never saw a glass cannon i i just i didn't see that many percentage damage ups i think i did through like level ups or something but that's always a bit weirder yeah no no that's not gonna work we're not gonna win that way we're probably not gonna win anyway if i were to guess as of right now because yeah this life steal is not the most consistent i will say i love that we have lots of trees that should help a lot and there are more enemies showing up for us to potentially life steal from that is useful okay actually go through here Oh, come on. Yep. I do want to kill the buff boys. Don't like that I killed the host, but what are you going to do? Sometimes you kind of have to. Okay. This is not good. That's not a good place to be, but our life steal went into overdrive for obvious reasons because there's lots of enemies around. That's kind of the nice thing about life steal is the time that's the most chaotic, you probably have lots of enemies around you to life steal off of. Life steal, life steal, you beautiful beast, life steal. We actually made that work. Potato, why is this a legendary? 3 HP, 1 regen, 3 damage, 3 speed, 5 luck. This better be the cheapest legendary that is out there. Like, obviously, the stats are nice. Oh my god, my heart. That was wild. That looked so bad, but yeah, 21% uh, lifesteal with the uh, amount of attack speed we have on a qu very quick firing uh, melee weapon meant that the more swarmed we were, the more danger we were in, the safer we were. <laughs> the worst thing to do for us was to get tote like, I uh, just take little tiny chip damage here and there, like blip, 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 blip. That would that's the worst thing for us to do that and run, but that's kind of what we had to do for a bit. But then thankfully we got a lot of enemies showing up, and that was fine. But yeah, I can't get over it. this item is I mean like first of all, lol, it's a potato. It also shows that potatoes are canonically not egg shaped or like egg colored, egg, egg shaped. So <laughs> I mean I don't know what to say. If this is a potato, then what is this? It, I'm more convinced than ever that it is actually, that it is an egg. But three max HP, one HP region, 3% damage, 3% speed, five luck. It's, again, it's kind of like well-rounded. It, it makes sense. It's well-rounded in a way. It's a package of stats that you would, will pretty much always like to have. Some A lot of times I dump HP regen, um, but it's just a package of stats that are pretty cool, I suppose. Uh, there, there's another row done, like, as far as getting wins. We obviously got a couple more that we need to get our wins on. Uh, but then we are going to be going through to, you know, re-up the characters that we got. What is this? Tier 1? Danger level 1 wins on? Yeah. We're going to be re-upping them at the very least. So that is not too bad. All right. Well, very cool. Hatchet. What do I think of Hatchet? Um, In spirit, I really like it. I don't know. I'm trying to think like... I think that a... Uh, yeah, a Wildling Hatchet run would be great. You know, when we inevit inevitably play the character again. I think that... Um, that's very a very, very logical choice. Getting a free 25% lifesteal. Like, you know how we had 22 lifesteal at the end of the run? Uh, if you play Wildling, you would have more than that the moment you press play. That's pretty, pretty cool. Like, that seems like a very, very logical and fun way to play that character. 
I could see it being like very logical to make sure you have one of on Gladiator. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else. What, generalist. I think it could be really good on Generalist. But either way, alas, alas, that is that. That is going to do it here for today for Brotato, the daily video. If you'd be sad to see the series go, you got to let me know in the form of a comment down below. If you are either new here or you found yourself searching for my Brotato videos a couple of times or you're, you know, a couple deep now, I do recommend subscribing. There is a, a new video on Brotato that comes out every single day. In addition to the fact that I showcase a new roguelike game every single day on this channel uh, alongside a Brotato video. So if you are a fan of this genre and you want to be introduced to lots of great new games in it, while also getting a constant drip feed of Brotato goodness, we do that right now. That is what we are doing. So make sure you're subscribed for that. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Thank you for watching, though. Thank you, thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.